Check of our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Some clouds out there behind you, Dave. Yeah, a few more have been popping up here. The last little bit, it's the atmosphere is still very unstable. The upper level system moving through may spark off a few more storms. We head to the evening hours tonight. It may go beyond sunset, unlike yesterday where they all died out about sunset. But we're 88 degrees now. Dew point in the mid 60s. Little breeze out of the southwest there at 15. So we do have some pretty muggy weather out there. You see 280 traffic already backing up per usual at this time. Mid to upper 80s to around 90 degrees in Talladega, but a rain cooled 80 in Alex City over toward Alabaster at 89, 88 Brent back toward Fayette and Carrollton now. And you can see a lot of the rain to our south. Highway 80 south where the bulk of these showers, but over toward Coosa County there, you can see over toward Sylacauga. See the skinny green line heading to Childersburg. That's an outflow boundary, kind of a mini cold front from these storms initially that worked their way through parts there of Clay County back into Talladega County. As that moves off there to the northeast toward Birmingham, may help to spark off additional showers and thunder so we'll keep an eye out for that one as we head throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening hours. Outside of that, though, pretty quiet weather for the rest of central Alabama. Active weather here for southern Mississippi and southeast Louisiana. A squall line of thunderstorms working their way through Jackson all the way down to Baton Rouge with severe thunderstorms along I-55. Notice north of that, pretty quiet weather. Starting to see a couple showers popping up near Memphis. There's a small scale little area low pressure spinning there. And this is uh, going to be working its way across Tennessee, but may help to develop additional storms for us as we head through the evening hours today. Some of them could get strong, possibly severe. There is a low chance here, level one marginal risk for some damaging winds and maybe some small hail mixed in. So we'll keep an eye out for that, but the threat is going to be very low. Heading out to the pool this afternoon, again, around a 30% chance to 40% there by 6 o'clock. Temperatures holding steady around 86 degrees. Definitely warm and definitely pool weather out there. Just remember you hear thunder get out of the water immediately. Uh, upper 60s, lower 70s tonight into tomorrow morning with a few showers possible and then during the day tomorrow small chance rain in the morning will increase throughout the afternoon as another little upper level system works its way in so for the kids headed to summer camp tomorrow keep that in mind may have to dodge a little rain there you see some of the storms from seven o'clock on into about 10 o'clock tonight again a few more of them over the western part of the state dying out overnight into tomorrow morning to just a few stray showers maybe some patchy fog and drizzle by tomorrow afternoon we'll see some of those scattering of storms popping back up through four o'clock and then heading to the evening hours could see a line coming Coming through, so we'll keep an eye out for that on Wednesday. Those will slowly kind of fall apart as we head into Thursday morning. And this is when a cold front will come through. And as that front passes by, look at that humidity dropping down for Thursday, Friday into Saturday before going back up next week. And unfortunately, as that goes back up, so does the chance for some rain. So scattered storms on Wednesday, Thursday as well with that front temperatures in the upper 80s, lows in the 70s, less humid, refreshing weather heading to Friday and Saturday, lows in the lower 60s before muggy weather and also a few storms are back in the forecast to start next week.